Rocks. Hello, this is Rex for Rex Recites. Today I have two short poems for you that I have written myself, but before we get to them, a slight introduction. I have to refer you to Shakespeare's play Hamlet, which contains a character called Polonius, who is surely one of the most verbose windbags in English literature. One day he was giving some advice to his son who was leaving on a journey, and he prefaced his advice by saying to his son, brevity is the soul of wit. And this, of course, was one of Shakespeare's subtle jokes. Well, now, 11 years ago, I wrote a very 50-page uh, booklet of my own little autobiography, and it only touches the very high points of my life. And so I called it a brief nutshelling of my eight tenths and a bit of a century. And if you notice, I don't suppose you would have noticed unless I called it to your attention, that the title of this booklet is a haiku. The first and third lines have five syllables, the middle line has seven syllables. And so, I hope this is a respectable example, really, of the fact that brevity is the soul of wit. Now, the word wit here is to be understood in a wide, in a broad sense, and not just one who makes a wise cracks, but one who has a quite, kind of a sharpish mind. And so that's my introduction out to my four stanza, four lines each verse, which I have two different titles I use for it. One of them is I conned Mother Nature, and that refers to the fact that at the age of 91, I have outlived many people who were my contemporaries in bygone ages. The other title that I sometimes use is My Life in Two Minutes, because it takes about two minutes to recite. So this is truly an example of brevity, describing a life of 80 years in a short poem, and I hope at the same time that it's fairly witty. So it goes like this. I have reached the age of 91, and it's sure been a lot of fun. A sailor, soldier, preacher, teacher, I've tried my hand at them all. But my 32 years as a leecher has, in effect, been the best ball of all. Three offspring came along all the kinder, producing in their turn four grandkinder, one of whom, lo and behold, had two great babes which Mother Nature sent to round out the years that are to me due. Fifty years long was my first wedded span, followed by eighteen as a yet delighted man. For I have had two lovely English wives, you see, each in her time, all the world to me. Oh, I must include my two main part-time delights, graphology and memory techniques, super insights, both of which furnished finesse and valuable foresights to my above-named successive livelihood endeavors to which I bade farewell for retirement favors." So that is my short poem about my 80 years existence. I wrote this poem, of course, about 11 years ago, and quite a lot has happened since then, but anyway, I have retired now to a place, a retirement community called Bellwood in the town of Issaquah near Washington, 
near Seattle. I've been here just over two years, and it's a very nice place. So I have a little poem about touting the benefits of Bellwood. Bellwood is an outstanding place to be for any aspiring retiree. For the residents here can choose among many activities to lose themselves temporarily in thrills, excitement, or recreation. All different forms of recreation. To illustrate, on 10 31 15 Halloween, we had a get together most keen. We had witches, transsexual kinks, a Grinch, a dinosaur, and many other varieties of freaks. But most winsome was a clown whose costume was plus A. All of this, plus snacks and libation, made for a dramatic celebration. Okay, then we have a brief picture of the benefits of Bellwood. And I hope you enjoyed those two little short poems that I wrote several months ago since I have lived here at Bellwood. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so below. Thank you. Mm -hmm.